I am sorry to find you so resolute. And we have never had any quarrel to which I have knowledge of. If I have done something to offend you, please let me hear it. I only wish for my family to be together at Christmas. Surely you must understand that. You should be with us, not alone. Good afternoon. A Merry Christmas. Good Dr. afternoon. And a happy New Good year. afternoon. A Merry Christmas, Bob. A Merry Christmas to you, sir. Fred! Yes, Uncle. Look there. You are shaking hands with a man who makes 15 shillings a week and has a wife and family to provide for, talking about a Merry Christmas. Stupid mare everywhere. I'll retire to Bedlam. Excuse our interruption at this late hour. Scrooge and Marley's, I believe. Uh, do I have the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley's dead. Dead? Dead as a doornail. In fact, Mr. Marley has been dead these seven years. He died seven years ago this very night. Oh, on Christmas Eve. Oh, yes, indeed, on Christmas Eve. I am deeply sorry to hear that, sir. A, a solemn anniversary, to be sure. I don't require your pity. Good day. Well, I have no doubt that his liberality will be well represented by his surviving partner. <laughs> uh, Mr. Scrooge, it is more than usually desirable that we should make some slight provision for the poor and destitute who suffer greatly at the present time. Are there no prisons? Oh, plenty of prisons. And the uh, Union workhouses, are they still in operation? They are still. I wish I could say they were not. So the treadmill and the poor law are in full vigor, then. Oh, they're very busy, sir. Oh, I was afraid from what you said at first that something had occurred to stop them in their useful course. I'm very glad to hear it. Mr. Oh. Scrooge. A few of us are endeavouring to raise a fund uh, to buy the poor some meat and drink and means of work. What shall we put you down for? Nothing. Oh, you wish to be anonymous. I wish to be left alone. Look, I don't make merry myself at Christmas time, and I can't afford to make idle people merry. I help support the establishments I've mentioned with my taxes. They cost enough, and those who are badly off must go there. Well, many can't go there, and many would rather die. Well, if they'd rather die, then they'd better do it and decrease the surplus population. Well, Mr. Besides, Sh excuse me, I don't know that. But you might know it. But it's not my business. It's enough for a man to understand his own business and not to interfere in other people's. Mine occupies me constantly. Good afternoon. <laughs> How's a man to get anything accomplished? There, there's another day gone. And you'll want all day tomorrow, I suppose. If quite convenient, sir. Oh, it's not convenient. And it's not fair. You know, if I were to stop, what, half a crown for it? You'd think yourself ill-used, I'll be bound. And yet you don't think me ill-used when I pay a day's wages for no work. It's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. But I suppose you must have the whole day. You'll be here all the earlier the next morning. Yes, sir. I am sorry for the passing of Mr. Marley. I... 